Magandang araw mga kasipnayan. Welcome to Sir Oknik's YouTube channel. In this video, we will solve for the median of a given group of data. Let us first define what is a median. The median divides the scores in the distribution into two equal parts. 50% lies below the median value and 50% lies above the median value. The median is the middle number in a sorted, ascending or descending list of numbers and can be more descriptive of that data set than the average. The formula in finding the median for a, for a group data is equal to Lm plus the quantity n over 2 minus Cfb all over Fq1 times I, wherein Lm stands for the lower class boundary of the medial class, Cfb stands for the sum of the frequencies below the medial class, and FQ1 is the frequency of the medial, medial class, and N is the total frequency. I corresponds with the class size. Let us have our first example. Given the frequency distribution of the scores obtained by 45 students, of grade 10 mathematics class in a 100 item test, solve for the median. So the first row stands for the class intervals, while the second column refers to the frequencies of each class interval. The value of n of this group is equal to 45, since the, the sum of all the frequencies is equal to 45. Let us now complete the column under cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency is obtained by adding the frequencies, previous frequency to the next frequency. To start off, we have 3, 3 plus 4, which is the frequency of 22 to 33, is equal to 7, 7 plus 6, which is the frequency of 34 to 45, that is equal to 13, then continue the process, 13 plus 9 is 22, 22 plus 10 is 32, 32 plus 5 is equal to 37, and 37 plus 8 is equal to 45. To compute for your lower class boundary, we have 9.5 for the first class interval, 21.5 for the second class interval, 33.5, 45.5, 57.5, 69.5, and 81.5. Let us now identify the median class. The median is in the class where the cumulative frequency reaches half the sum of the absolute frequencies. That is to say, the median is within the class. In our example, the total number of scores is equal to 45. Half of 45 is the middle score. Therefore, that will be 45 divided by 2, which is equal to 22.5 or simply 23. That means that the, the middle score is a 23rd score. Let us focus on the cumulative frequencies. Let us identify in which class interval is the 23rd score. The 23rd score 
belongs to the class interval of 58 to 69. Fifty-eight to sixty-nine is now our median class. Now, since fifty-eight to sixty-nine is now our median class, we may now identify the lower class boundary, which is equal to fifty-seven point five. The sum of the frequencies below the median class, that is equal to twenty-two. That's the cumulative frequency before the frequency of the median class. Then we have the frequency of the median class, which is equal to 10. The total frequency, which is equal to 45. And the class size, from 10 to 21, we have 12 observations. Using this set of values, we may now substitute to the formula in finding the median. The, the median is given by LM plus parenthesis N over 2 minus CFB all over FQ times I. By proper substitution, that will be median is equal to 57.5 plus the quantity 45 over 2 minus 22 all over 10 times 12. Simplifying the numerator, we will arrive at 22.5 minus 22, which is equal to 0 0.5. So that will be 57.5 plus 0 0.5 all over 10 times 12. Simplifying the fraction, we will arrive at 0 0.05 times 12 is equal to 0 0.6. 0 0.6 plus 57.5, that is equal to 58.1. That means that the estimated median of the group is 58.1. Second example, the following table shows the number of plants in a house at a certain barangay in Tondo, Manila during the pandemic. Identify the median of the group. The first column illustrates the number of plants, while the second column illustrates the number of houses. To solve for the cumulative frequency, we have 4. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9, plus 3, 12, plus 4, 16, plus 7, 23, plus 3, 26, plus 4, 30. That means that the total number of frequencies is equal to 30. Next, we identify the lower class boundary for each interval. For 0 to 2, we have negative 0 0.5. 3 to 5, we have 2.5. 6 to 8, we have 5.5. Doing the same process, we will arrive at 8.5, 11.5, 14.5, and 17.5. To solve for the median class, we have n is equal to 30. The median score will be 30 all over 2, which is equal to 15. That means that the 15 score is the middle score. So let us now identify in which class interval does the 15 score belongs. The median score is in the class interval 9 to 11. Since this will now be your median class. Based on the median class, our lower class boundary is equal to 8.5. Our CFB or the frequency below is equal to 12. 
which is this one, the frequency of the medial class is equal to 4. The total frequency is equal to 30. And the class size is equal to 3. 0 to 2 has 3 observations. Now, using this values let us now substitute in the given formula by proper substitution we will then have 8.5 plus parenthesis 30 all over 2 minus 12 all over 4 times 3 30 divided by 2 is 15 minus 12, which is equal to 3. Simplifying the fractions 3 fourths, that is equal to 0 0.75. 0 0.75 times 3 is equal to 2.25. 2.25 plus 8.5 is equal to 10.75. That means that the estimated median of the group is 10.75. Let us now check your knowledge. The following table shows the scores obtained by 50 students of grade 10 mathematics class in a 50 item test. Complete the table and compute for the median of the group. Do not forget to pause this video while you are doing the activity. Good luck! Let us now complete the table. For the cumulative frequency, we have 6 plus 6 is equal to 12, plus 11, 23, plus 7 is 30, plus 9 is 39, plus 4 is 43, plus 7 is 50. That means that the total number of frequencies is equal to 50. Let us now identify the lower class boundary for each interval. For 7 to 12, the lower class boundary is 6.5. For 13 to 18, the lower class boundary is 12.5. Doing the same process, the results will be 18.5, 24.5, 30.5, 36.5, 30 and 42.5. Let us now determine our median class. Since the total number of frequencies is 50, to get the middle score, that will be 50 divided by 2, which is equal to 25. That means that the 25th score is the middle score. Let us now identify the median class. Take note that the 25th score is the middle score. Therefore, the median class is the 25 to 30 class interval because the 25th score belongs to this interval. Using our median class, we may now determine our needed values. LM is equal to 24.5 which is the lower class boundary cfb the or the sum of the frequencies below the medial class is equal to 23 the frequency of the medial class is equal to 7 the total frequency is equal to 50 and the class size is equal to 6 because there are seven six observations from 7 to 12 class interval for each interval rather Using the values, we may now substitute to the formula in finding the median. By proper substitution, we will then have 24.5 plus 50 over 2 minus 23 over 7 times 6. Simplifying the numerators, that will be 25 minus 23, which is equal to 2. 
2 over 7, simplifying the fraction, 2 over 7 is equal to 0 0.29 times 6 is equal to 1.74. 1.74 plus 24.5 is equal to 26.24. That means that the estimated median of the group is 26.24. Thank you for watching our Ocnex YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless!